Cuando vivo solo sueño horizonte falto de palabras En la sombra entre luces todos negros para mi mirada Si tú no estás junto a mí aquí Tú en tu mundo separado de mí o por un abismo Llámame, yo volaré a tu mundo lejano. Por ti volaré, espera que llegaré. Cielos y mares, hasta tu amor, abriendo los ojos por fin, contigo viviré. Alright, so I just want to point out that I am not a speaker of the Italian language, which I'm pretty sure the song is, nor am I an expert on the culture's music, so take that as you will. First of all, I just want to say that I love your vibrato. It is simply superb. You've chosen the perfect moments in the song to add that little facet of your singing ability that can either make a piece sound beautiful or, well, not. Many people fall into the trap of being afraid of their vibrato, whether it be using it too much or too little, because of that very reason, being afraid of ruining the piece with it. However, it seems you have passed this difficulty in your singing and managed to find a solid balance between vibrato all of the time and almost no vibrato at all. The song itself is beautiful, and I commend you for finding one that matches your voice so well. You've done a wonderful job once again, Ryan. Thank you. Hello, Ryan. I'd like to thank you for your song. It was very well done. Uh, I appreciate the fact that as many times as people have heard Andrea Bocelli sing this, you didn't try to sound like him. I have to give you some uh, big respect points for that. If you were my student, I was teaching you how to sing. The only things that I would say to you would be to use just a bit more breath support. It's not that you're lacking in it by any means. However, I think that you could use just a little more on it. This may sound a bit technical, uh, but I really hope that you might take that into consideration, and your future performances should be uh, all the better for it. Thank you. Ryan, I think you should be more careful with your song choices. The original singer of this song has a really powerful voice, and in comparison, this felt a bit flat for me. There is some pitchiness throughout, and you have a thick American accent. You should have practiced the R's more. When speaking or singing any foreign language, you should really try to get the R's right first of all, as those really can make or break your accent. I enjoy the long tones though, as you really got to show off your beautiful voice, and I like that you tried to show some strength, but overall it was just not good and I'm sorry to say that. Thinking back to your first entry, that was a really good song choice for you. That genre is really flattering for your voice and you were even one of the two favorites in that episode, so you obviously have potential to be a great singer. Your development curve has been pointing the wrong way ever since the qualification round and I think if you do make it through this time it will only be because of your potential as your latest two entries have been not so good. Hanuman 
Phoebe, what can I say? You never fail to convey emotions when you sing, and it always touches my heart. Your voice is so soft and soothing, it feels like you're whispering in my ear, telling me that everything is going to be okay. And I just feel such a connection to your voice. It's absolutely wonderful. You should start a clinic or something where stressed people can go and just relax and listen to your voice, and you would instantly calm them down. However, I am disappointed in you regarding your choice of language. In my ears, Korean and Japanese are very similar languages, and it would have been more exciting to hear you sing a more decent language from what we're used to. We already know that you can sing in English or Japanese and it will sound just as good. I wouldn't go as far as to say you cheated, but you did make it too easy for yourself, and I don't think you're showing enough versatility to be honest, and I think you really should work on that. I really enjoyed this and I thank you for it, but it was too expected. Alright Phoebe, I'll try to keep this brief, as to avoid taking up too much of your time. I'll go ahead and start with the parts of your performance that made it great. First of all, you have a very soft and pretty voice, which matches the song to a T. Along with that, your Korean is very good, especially since I assume this isn't your first language. Perhaps the most impressive moment of your cover is that part in the middle where you overlay two different singing parts. This shows a decent understanding of using sound software, which is definitely something that a large majority of singers don't have. Many singers are simply that. Singers. And little more. To make a name for yourself, you are going to have to go beyond being just a singer, and learn how to be a sound engineer, and how to use technology beyond the acoustic realm. However, this is also one of your weakest moments, in that these overlaid portions are somewhat out of tune and out of time with each other. Also, the weak points of your performance include the times where you attempt to hit those really high notes, where your voice kind of takes on this whiny, squeaky tone. All in all, though, this is a very good cover in beautiful Korean. However, there are certain parts, certain moments, where slight yet obvious flaws take the listener away from the emotion you're trying to portray in your singing. You've done an amazing job. But that doesn't mean that you don't have room to improve. I hope you can take this commentary to heart and use it to improve your performing ability. Thank you. Phoebe, that was absolutely outstanding. I really liked what I heard. You have a good, strong voice. The harmonies and the background vocals that you picked for and that you had there, perfect. Just absolutely perfect. Your voice came through clear as day. I really like what I heard, even though I didn't understand what I was hearing. Um, just fantastic job. Absolutely fantastic job. Uh, keep going, keep doing what you're doing, and uh, I hope to hear more from you in the future. Andava piede nudi per la strada Mi vide come un'ombra mi segui Col viso in alto di chi il mondo sfida E tiene a piede uomo conosci Nel cuore aveva il volo di chi ha piani Ma in corpo di chi ha detto troppi sì Nell'occhi la paura di domani Come ragazzo me ne innamorai La notte lei dormiva sul mio petto Sentivo il suo respiro su di me E poi mi dava calci dentro il letto C'è ancora il suo sapore qui con me Anima mia, torna a casa tua, ti aspetterò dove stia dare queste mura. Anima mia, nella stanza tua, c'è ancora il letto con le hai lasciato tu. 
All right, Dooney, that was very, very well done. You have good breath support. You have a good control over your voice. You have a nice, solid vibrato. Uh, very, very good. The only things that I heard, and this is coming from me as both a singer and a composer, you sounded just a hair flat in a couple of spots. Nothing that can't be fixed. Uh, with just a little bit of extra training with your ear, you cut a couple of notes short here and there. Uh, nothing, again, that you can't uh, fix by just practicing to hold that out a little bit more. One more thing that I would say to you would be try Try not to take too many breaths. I know in singing, because of the phrasing, that can be difficult. However, it's something you might want to try just to help yourself out a little bit. Other than that, very well done, and uh, thank you very much. At first, I was worried that you chose to sing in a cappella. This could really have flopped totally, but I ended up really loving the simplicity of it. It is unadorned, and it becomes more intimate because of it. You have such emotion in your voice in this piece, and it feels like you mean every word, even though I don't understand Italian. It sounded a bit like Russian to me, and you reminded me of my favorite Russian artist, Zaram Gayan. This challenge was a total success for you. You did exactly what you were supposed to, and I even think this is the best thing you've done in this competition competition so far. Really well done, Toonie. I loved it so much. I just want to start out, Toonie, by saying that I love this cover. Your singing makes this song beautiful. And even if I have never heard it before, I can feel and hear the emotion of the song. You start out on a very strong note, and it is immediate what tone you are taking. Your vibrato is simply astounding, standing on the edge of just too much and none at all. Along with that, your background singing is well-balanced and well-tuned, something that most people can't achieve. However, these certainly aren't the only things that make this cover beautiful. With this song, you've shown your proficiency in the art of painting a picture with your singing. I could feel myself walking through the streets and roads of old Europe, with your singing creating the world around me. This is truly something to be proud of. There is no background soundtrack or instrumental, something that would normally take away from a piece. However, with your cover, it only works to make your singing seem stronger. You have made this piece yours, and it is gorgeous. Thank you for the chance to review your singing and pat yourself on the back. You've done well. First of all, I want to point out I am not very well versed concerning the Tagalog language, so I hope you can forgive me if my commentary isn't the most helpful. I'm just going to use this to uh, be a little nitpicky. I'm sure that you've been told by the other judges that your voice is very solid. Your voice is very good. You've hit par concerning your ability to sing. However, that doesn't mean that you get to stop getting better. Now you need to go ahead and look towards enhancing the specific characteristics of your singing that make it so good, such as a personal tone that makes your voice yours, or the particular softness of your voice that you show so well in this song. Take your ability to sing and truly make it yours. Make it different. 
and make it distinctive. I want to be able to hear your singing and tell myself that this is Akane without knowing who is the person singing it. However, that doesn't mean you haven't done a wonderful performance. This is beautiful. The song is great for your voice. You sound amazing. However, your singing still has room to improve, and that's a good thing. Now, as always, I hope you take this commentary to heart. I hope you use it and continue to grow and become a greater singer using mine as well as the other judges' commentaries. Thank you so much for this opportunity, and thank you for letting me listen to your beautiful singing once again. Akane, how's it going? Very well done. By the way, how's Ron Mudiga doing these days? Anyways, uh, your song, very, very well done. I have to uh, really say that. Very, very well done indeed. As with everything, uh, of course, we have to tell you just a couple of things you can improve on. The first thing is uh, your volume. I know that that song was in and of itself a bit quiet. However, you might consider adding just a little more volume to your voice. The second thing is that at the end, when you got into those higher notes, you sounded a bit too airy, and that comes from a lack of breath support. This is something that a lot of singers have, and don't worry about it, it's very common. Uh, just practice using your breath a little more when you get to those higher notes. Um, aside from that, very well done. What an astonishing cover, and what a beautiful language, and what an amazing comeback! Your voice really has this angel-like quality and you show it off incredibly well with these kind of acoustic songs. You really prove that we were right to keep you last time. Okay. This is a good genre for you, but just remember to mix it up sometimes with other kinds of songs to show some more versatility. I would also have wanted to hear some power in a section of this song. I think that would have been a nice addition. That's the only thing that was missing for me. Even if it's not in the original song, it never hurts to try to make it your own. But again, this was still a brilliant cover, and if you continue to do this good, things will go very well for you in this competition. You are someone to look out for, Kane, and if I were one of your competitors, I would be very worried. Jesus, singing so fast in a foreign language is not easy, and that makes this really impressive, but maybe not for the right reasons. I think the fast-paced wordspeeding took away a lot of attention from the actual singing, and after all, this is a singing competition and not a language competition. You also tripped over some words which brought down the quality a little bit, but kudos to you for trying. You hit the notes well and you're using power at certain moments in the song, which I like, because that's what I missed from you in your last entry. And this is a really cool song, but somehow I still feel like you're sailing in the middle. This is not my favorite entry, but it's not my least favorite either. I think you should try to find something that would make you stand out and be unique and interesting, because I don't hear it right now. This is just me being extra picky this time, because so far most of you have been good. And I'm worried that if you don't start standing out, I'm going to lose interest for you. And soon it's going to be these small things that determine who will go. So if you don't want it to be you, then you'd better find your niche. You are a good singer, but so is everyone else here. So you have to 
find something special about you. All right, Harley. So first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and say that I may or may not be a little biased towards your song because I am just a huge fan of the Japanese language. So your Japanese is pretty good for someone who does not speak it as his first language, which I assume you don't have. And I surely applaud you for that. However, it could use some work. Japanese is a very interesting language because of the way that it forms and shapes its words. It's a syllabic language, and you need to try to be sure to enunciate each syllable and make sure that you emphasize the harder syllables correctly. Otherwise, you risk mumbling through a lot of the words. Your singing is a little softer than needed, which does somewhat take away from the language's harsher components, the, uh, the ka, k, and t, for example. Beyond that, your singing and tone is very nice, but you do mumble through a lot of it. Also, I just really need to point this out because it was just killing me on the inside as I listened to this. The te of the Japanese language tends to sound more like the, like T-H-E rather than T-E. It's a little bit softer than what you're putting through. Besides that, though, this was a great cover, and you have done a wonderful job with it. Thank you very much. Hello, Harley. Thank you for singing. I do have a few things I'd like to go over with you. The first thing is, and this is just a suggestion, by the way, the next song that you pick in the future, try not to pick one that only showcases so little of your singing range. You don't have to go out and get a song where you sing two or three octaves by any means. However, something that might show us just a little bit more of your singing range would be a good uh, a good idea, just so we can get a better idea of where you're going with this. A uh, couple of things, again, coming from me as a voice teacher, here are a few things I'd like to say to you. The first thing is that on a couple of occasions, your S's came out as an SH sound. Instead of going S, you went SH. So just watch out for that. Very small thing. I'm sure you can fix that quite easily. The other thing that I would like to say would be uh, watch your note attack. In other words, how you hit the notes, because when you were doing those fast sections, you didn't seem to be attacking the notes. You you didn't quite slur them, but you they weren't crisp as they could have been. Uh, other than that, very well done, and thanks again for singing. And those were the last entries for this round. The rest have either dropped out or missed the episode. See you soon with the result. <laughs>